may be my favorite video of all time. We are working our way through the ultimate for Central Southern Christmas, and we have arrived at one of my favorites, the microwave popcorn. This course is very bad for productivity because when someone pops the bag, the alarm is forced through the call center and all the heads pop up to see who's bringing popcorn. I visited a call center once that has forbidden their agents from fixing microwave popcorn. And that's why they would create such a rule. They told me that when the popcorn smelled good, it distracted people. And when someone burned a bag, it distracted people. But I digress. We are here today to create some popping in interaction supervisors. Today we're going to learn how to set alerts, send messages, and answer assistance requests, which will bring some popping to your computer. Grab some popcorn and let's go take a look. We're returning to the workgroup detail view we discussed in part three of the series. I mentioned at that time that you can set alerts on statistics. Well, now we're going to show you how. Let's say you'd like the system to notify you when there are more calls than you'd like to have waiting in queue. Notice the statistic called Interactions Waiting. Place your cursor on that statistic and right-click your mouse. Select Edit Alerts. The Edit Alerts dialog box will pop up. Now you're going to add a range. Let me show you how it's done and then the final result. When you click Add Range, the first screen in the dialog box allows you to create color-coded stoplights. You can have the dot colored green when there are no calls in queue. You might have the yellow light come on when there is one call in queue. And then the red light comes on when there are more than two calls in queue. Obviously, these numbers are lower than you'd use in your center. We're just keeping it simple for the demonstration. Here's the screen when we're in a green state. There are other types of alerts you can add besides just the colored indicators. You can change the colors of your text display so that the alert really stands out when you glance at the screen. You can have a sound play on your computer speakers. And you can send a desktop alert out to your agents. You can even send an email to other people in your organization notifying them of your alert condition. One caveat to note about sending emails as part of your alerts. You must have a permission in Interaction Administrator turned on called Allow Handler Trigger Alerts. If the email choice is grayed out when you try to set this up, call your system administrator to turn this on for you. One other thing about alerts. Click on View at the top of the screen. Notice Active Alerts. Clicking here will bring up a listing of all the alerts you have configured in the system. This is a great way to see the status of everything important to you all in one place. Another great feature in Supervisor that will keep things popping for you is messaging. In the button bar, click the View Messages button. Click Add. Now, select the agents and or work groups you want to receive the message and click OK. Now you can type the message. I strongly recommend clicking the Send as Desktop pop-up checkbox. This will present the message to the agents in, ta-da, a pop-up box. Otherwise, the message appears at the bottom of your agent's client, and frankly, they might miss it there. Optionally, you can play a sound when the message is delivered to draw the agent's attention. You can also include a URL in the message. The message displays until the agent closes it, unless you set an expiration. Also, messages that are created and sent are added to your supervisor message list, so you can access them later and resend if necessary. For example, you may send a message at the end of each week reminding folks to turn in their timesheets. Finally, we want to show you how to use assistance requests. This is a great time-saving feature. How many times have you looked up to see a line of agents standing in the doorway of your cubicle looking for someone to help them with a problem they are having on their current call? Using the assistance request feature, they can line up virtually with all the supervisors you have online at any given time. Here's how it works. Your agent needs help with a call. They click the assistance button. The Request Assistance dialog pops up, and the agent can type a brief message describing the problem. 
Immediately, the assistance response dialog pops up on the screen of all supervisors designated to provide support for this queue. The supervisor clicks respond. At this point, they can accept the request and help the agent or decline if they're involved in something else. When they accept the request, the agent is notified of which supervisor will be helping them. Now, the supervisor has all of the buttons active for the specific call and they can listen or coach or join or record, all right from the assistance response dialog. And that's it for popping alerts, messages, and assistance requests. I'm headed back to the break room to make some more popcorn. I'll talk to you again soon.